silly. We live in the center of art and culture in America. I'm sure you could find a program here that's just as selective, but you chose one in a city 3,000 miles away, and you didn't tell Marshall. I think it's pretty clear what that means. I need to go to San Francisco and do this art program and, and figure out who I am outside of us. And the only way that I can do that is if, if we don't talk for a while. Try never, okay? You walk out that door and we're done. You're never gonna hear my voice again. Lily, this was the worst summer of my life. I know, it was the worst summer of my life. It was the hardest thing that I've ever had to go through. Can we please get back together? It broke my heart. Three months ago, you broke my heart. Can we please get back together? Okay, I have two plans you can help me choose. Plan A, remember that time Marshall and I had sex in the bathroom? Oops, I got knocked up. No way. Okay, plan B is called Chloe's accident. I just stopped. Turn around, Chloe! <laughs> Hello, uh, I had a little message I want to give you. I actually did a like 30 minutes in-depth analysis of Lily Aldrin uh, on my secondary channel and it focuses on a lot of these points in this video. So if you want to check that out, then feel free to go to the video right here. All right? All right. You're crazy. <laughs> you have crazier eyes than anybody that I've ever met. You're going back. Gonna get out of your mind. You're absolutely insane. I can't believe how Mr. Druthers treats people. And that building, who oh, talk about overcompensating. It's gone. What? What, uh, what's gone? It's my baseball, signed three times by Pete Rose. Hey, um, Lily, question for you. Why did I find Mr. Druthers' baseball signed three times by Pete Rose in your desk drawer? That's easy. I took it. When I was teaching kindergarten, whenever a kid was mean, I would take away one of his toys. The kid would be upset at first, but then he'd learn to stop being mean. He was mean. And that's why I took away his ball. That's not justice, it's shoplifting, and it's a crime. So is being mean. Look, Lil, we're all tolerating this prolonged nervous breakdown you're clearly having with the punk band and the beekeeping and the petty larceny, but this is my career you're messing with. I'm not sure I like your tone. You know what? Now you've just lost the ball. Got it? Okay, give me the ball. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I stand by what I did, Ted. Come on, Lily, we're running out of time. Everybody get in here now! Give me his ball back right now. People are gonna get fired. No, they're not. It's just a tantrum, Ted. I saw this in kindergarten all the time. This isn't kindergarten. Mr. Druthers is an adult, and he wants his ball back. Baby, I, I know that this will make things harder, but I will make it work, I promise. I destroyed an $8,000 wedding dress. What time is the interview? 9 a.m. And you'll need new shoes. Don't worry, I know a guy. Holy, this is nuts. How many credit cards do you have? I don't know. Well, how much do you owe? I don't know. So when you said, but you're still gonna go to your job interview today, right, baby? And then, oh, you should go. I mean, you're not gonna take the job, but you might as well get a great meal out of the deal. You were pushing him into taking that high-paying corporate job. And they offered me, like, 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 a lot of money. Oh, Marshall. How much money? Here. I hate to say this, but I think you're gonna have to sell your stuff. Whoa, Marshall, that's just a game we play in the bedroom. I mean your clothes, all your designer pieces and everything. What? Why just my clothes? You broke me and Karen up? Are you insane? What gives you the right to do that? Ted, I did it for your own good. You just weren't seeing how awful she was. She failed the front porch test. What, what's a- Ted, think about how awesome you, me, and Marshall are. Seriously, think about it. We're pretty awesome. We're totally awesome. So whoever you marry, whoever joins Team Awesome, Bar is set pretty damn high. I hated doing that again, but Karen had to go. Again? Okay, how many times have you broken me up with a girlfriend? Never! Six. Like who? No one. Angie. Seriously. What is wrong with you, Lily? How could you do that? I did this because I care about you. You can't manipulate people like that. I I've known you 12 years, and I can honestly say I have never been more furious at you. Look, I didn't mean no, to. No, I don't even want it. You had no right to interfere in my relationships. You got lucky, okay? You met the love of your life in a dorm hallway when you were 18. 
but that doesn't give you the right to play God to the rest of us mortals down here who are still looking for someone. You're, you're so concerned about who you and Marshall are gonna end up on that front porch with. Well, you know what? You can have it to yourselves. Don't you give me that look. Lily, I can't take it anymore. Your way of coaching is crazy. Stop yelling at me. Sorry, but can I please do it my way? Fine, but I'm gonna do it my way too. I'm getting my guitar. I love it. I just, I work so hard, it feels good to be appreciated for my effort. I know, baby. Maybe, maybe your way is not totally stupid. Thanks. Your way is totally stupid. What the fuck? <laughs> and then we fell asleep on the beach while I'm counting the stars. Do you want to have dinner with me? Uh, us. Oh, he wouldn't think of living anywhere else. I hate New York! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true, okay? Today I was walking around Price Co. Have you ever been there? It's huge. All the stores in New York are so cramped every time I turn. Oh, Marshall, you love New York. Yeah, I do, except that I hate it. I'm too big for New York. I'm not afraid to say it. I love New Jersey. I'm just kidding.